Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be learning about factorization for absolute beginners. You don't need any um, qualifications for this except just knowing plus, minus, multiplication and division and knowing your numbers wills, will um, and nothing else you need. This is by NCRT Revision, so let's get straight into it. Now, what is a prime number? Before knowing anything about factorization, you need to know about prime numbers. Now, what is a prime number? A number that can be divided by 1 and itself. So, there are two numbers, that 1 and itself. Examples can be 2, 2 can be divided by itself and by 1. 3, 3 can be divided by itself and 1. 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and etc. So, they all can be multiplied, I mean, divided by two numbers. 1, why didn't I mention 1? 1 is not a prime number. Yes, you heard me right. It's not a prime number because it can't be divided by two numbers. But you'll know why we, why I told you that 1 is not a prime number soon. Fact is, now, this is a very important part of factorization because factorization has that word factors. So we first need to know what are factors in order to figure out the factor factors of a expression. Now let's not get into that just yet. Let's look into factors first. Factors are numbers that are divisible by another number, which can be two is a factor of four. Why? Because four by two is equal to two. Okay. Um like that meaning two is divisible by four. If you have three or fifteen meaning 3 is divisible by 15, meaning 15 by 3 is 5. So what is 3? 3 is a factor of 15. Prime factorization. Now what what is prime factorization? Now we know two words, prime and factors. This is basically figuring out prime factors of a number, meaning factors, not just any factors like 4, but prime factors like 2, 3, 5, 7, things like that. So let's get into it. Way. Oh, sorry. Way. Prime factorization of 4. How do you do prime factorization? Now, if you have the square root like this, you write 4 in there, and then now you think of the nearest prime factor to 4, which is basically 2, because it's the smallest prime number that can be divided by 4. So it's going to be 4 divided by 2 is 2. So you're going to write 2 over there. And one two over there. Now you can keep going from here because you you want to end at zero, one, which is our ending point. So what is the nearest prime factor that two is divisible by? Two. So we've got one at the bottom. So we have got two and two on the left hand side of the grid. So our prime factorization of four will be equal to two times two. Okay? Let's move. Uh, factorization. Now, factorization is the base topic, which is simplifying an expression. How do you, what is an expression, first of all? An expression is basically a pattern of terms divided by operations. Now, wait, what is that? So, if you have an um, expression like a squared plus x, right? You have these terms, terms meaning they are separated by operation, which is what is our operation plus. Now, in an expression, you should not have an equal sign, and otherwise it will become an equation. So that equal sign just makes the whole thing an equation, but with no equal sign, it's an expression. Let's go. Now, what's the way of factorization? For example, let's have 2x plus 4x. Now, what is that equal to? Instead of 4x, let's take 4y because 2x plus 4x is basically 6x and there's no point of factorizing that. So let's have 2x plus 4y. Now, let's use a method called, I think it's the normal method, but anyways, let's make this exciting. Let's say pairing. Pairing is our way, okay? So you pair these two up and you look for common factors. Factors. Let's figure out the factors of, of those terms first. 2x. What's the factor of 2x? Well, let's do prime factorization of 2 first. 2 times.
times 2 is equal to, meaning 2 can't be simplified. Then you have got x with it, so we are going to write 2 times x in one bracket, just simplifying it, plus 4y. What are the factors of 4y? Let's factorize 4 over here, 2, 2, 2, and 1 on the bottom. So that's going to be 2 times 2 times y. So that's our factorization. Now, we look for common factors. What are the common factors that we have? Well, we have got 2. So 2 is our common factor. Then, what is left in this bracket? We've got x left. Plus, because we've got a plus in the middle. And we've got 2y left. Because we took out 1, 2 from each bracket. But we've still got 1, 2 left. So it's going to be 2 in bracket x plus 2. That's our answer. Hope you understood that and let's move on. Well, there's nothing to move on to. It's the end. Now, you might think that, oh my god, I just learned so much. And yes, you did. But just saying that I've made more video on factorization, which is more of, which explains more ways. Because this is just an intro to factorization. This is where things are going to build on. So there are more ways to do factorization and maybe you might need to do it in different equa expressions, you know, maybe there are different types of numbers and all that. You can look at class 8 factorization, class 9 polynomials. So class 8 chapter 14 is going to be factorization and chap class 9 chapter 2 has polynomials and it has factorization of polynomials. So do go and check out those videos. Till then, um, it's the end. Hope you understood everything. Hope you learned something new and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.